We keep hearing these cracks. Yeah, that's a typical sign that the snow is collapsing on something weak underneath. You hear that? What is it? We're in the Arctic, darling. Four brave celebrities have given up their time for free to take on the coldest comic relief challenge ever and raise money for incredible causes. This team of intrepid women have traveled 2,000 kilometers north to Tromsø in Arctic Norway. <laughs> that was bouncy. Their expedition begins on fat bikes, cycling 16 kilometers over an icy road to the start of an Arctic forest. Here, they will don snowshoes and climb 1,000 feet to spend their first night in an Arctic hut. On day two, they'll continue climbing for four kilometers on foot up to a plateau, notorious for deep snow drifts. Using Nordic skis, they will then travel six kilometers to spend the night under canvas. Day three sees them up at dawn, skiing 10 kilometers to the highest point of their expedition to then descend into the valley below to cross a perilous frozen lake. And on day four, after a night in an Arctic moss hut, the women will travel the final 10 kilometers to the finish line on skis. Welcome. Hey. hey. This is the starting point. You're going to bike 16 kilometers up in the mountains. Let's go, lasses! Yeah. Come on, let's go! Woo! 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 Woo Girls, as I say, already proud of you. This is the start, but we're all getting to that finishing line. Yes. yes. The team have just a few hours of daylight to climb four kilometers to their overnight hut. And once it gets dark, the temperature will drop. But they can't do that without snowshoes. Why on earth would anybody wear these? They must also tow everything they need for their expedition in two sledges. Come Let's there. go, come Woo! on, come on. And we're off again. Big hill coming, lasses. There you go, Sarah. We're nearly oh. I think we're at the top. Are we? We're at the top of swimming. We are going to change the skis now. The terrain is a little bit easier, but yeah. we don't have so good track anymore. It's time for these ladies to say goodbye to their snowshoes and slip into something a little faster. These Nordic skis are the only way they'll make it across the deep snow on the plateau and make it to the safety of tonight's camp. Whoa. I told you, man. So I've fallen over about 15 times. I've fallen on my shoulder once. Every time I have to get back up, I twist my ankles on them skis. <laughs> right. Well, now I know why we were on skis, because that's what, oh, that's up to me thigh. I must be the only person who comes skiing and carries me skis down the slope. OK, listen up. We have to cross some lakes. They are frozen and snow covered. I know people have gone through ice and died, so we try to avoid that. I asked Torbjorn. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, my God, did you just hear that? Everything just drops. Oh, God. You hear these bangs? Genuinely, genuinely frightened. Fractures are appearing in the snowpack, causing it to move beneath them. We keep hearing these cracks. Yeah, that's a typical sign that the snow is collapsing on something weak underneath. You hear that? What is it? Let's pick up the pace, lasses. I'm not liking the sound of all this. I don't like it. How can you tell where you put your foot and it sinks in and where you put your foot and it doesn't? Like, how do you know? Keep and... moving, though, because I am scared. Oh! Are we all good? Oh. We have 10K today to go to the final point, and you have to reach it 
two o'clock today. We have to two o'clock to get 10 k. That's not very long. It's one thing more. You have to navigate yourself. Oh, God. You have to find a route yourself. Right. The most important flag, exit. Exit. Let's go. There's a hole there, Vicky. <gasps> Shit me, it's water. The team have, in fact, come across a mountain stream. Although mostly covered by snow, these waterways continuously flow at sub-zero temperatures. Falling in could be deadly. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We could just fall into that water at any time. Stay as close to this side as you can. Once we wet, we screwed. That's pretty much guaranteed hypothermia. We could literally end up in that. That's scary. We made it across! Woohoo! Come on, lasses, we've still got a long way to go. What's the noise? A helicopter! What? what? Is that a helicopter? I can hear a noise. There! Oh my god! Dara! Look behind you! There's a helicopter! Oh my god! Let us go! Ah! I think that's coming for us! Losses! Oh my god, that's got to be for us! Get us home! We are out of here! After four long days battling brutal Arctic weather and treacherous terrain for 50 kilometers, the team have finally completed Comic Relief's coldest ever challenge. Oh, my. Oh, my. We did it! We did it! 